I'm no good up on stage. I oscillate and my mind misbehaves, misdirects the path my tongue paves as the message that I'm trying to convey runs away and dissolves into a haze, leaving me phased. No orator, nerves twitch until I'm raw, twist my limbs back and forth on my face I contort, wonder if my fate lies in applause or mocking roars from countless pairs of flapping jaws. But now, my jaws are the only ones flapping from the mystical blackness, no semblance of clapping, perhaps. The audience is wrapped as I wrap, wrapped up in the upbeat song from my twisted tongue running around the room in laps, but now I'm thinking other thoughts. Perhaps they're not absorbed at all, that glint I catch within their eyes is merely a desperate search for the door. Or failing that, perhaps they're bored, gazing blankly at the walls like a restless student in a cold exam hall. Maybe out there just praying they can walk, waiting for an appropriate pause within my imagery, simile and metaphor. The opportunity to leave. You've just missed yours. If you're displeased with my performance, your time or money I can't reimburse, but I'll do my best to take you with me on a voyage of poetical verse, traverse the avenues of life with rhythm, rhyme, feeling and soul. A little stream of consciousness at times, but there's deeper currents running through my flows because I'm not standing up here for exposure or for radio plays, just trying to transmit this message, broadcasting direct to your brain waves, and that's great. If it mutates the way you see things, I'm not spoon feeding, just offering, offering you some words enriched with rich and pure meaning. So all this jumbled up nerves, this manic panic, it's all worth feeling for those few seconds on stage of frenzied passion and freedom.